good. I'm glad I caught you. Remember that bombing you were in? Are you trying to be funny? No. What am I saying? Of course you do. I am seriously out of shape. I just sprinted the whole way here and, uh... Try and get to the point. Right. You know the corrupted footage from the train station? The distorted images that pointed us in the direction of Ark? What about it? There's a woman who works at Ruzika Station. Apparently, she's been trying to get in touch with Interpol. She says she has info on the security footage and wants to meet someone about it. Seems like something we should have known about earlier. What's Miller saying about this? Miller's not saying anything. Because I didn't talk to him about it. Yet. We keeping things from the bosses now, Chang? Only the ones who keep things from us. This woman, she... She sounded jumpy to me. If she knows who the bomber was... Jensen, something tells me you should try getting to her before anybody else does. Where is she? Waiting in the back alley on Stuhr Street. Her name is Pavla Kilmanovic. Alright, I'll see what she knows. Pavla Kilmanovic? Sakra, you are augmented. I... I not think they sent... Yes. Yes, I am. You are with Interpol, yes? At the moment. I'm told you have information on the train station attack. Yes. No. Maybe. I... I work there, at Ruzika Station in surveillance room. I was not there when bombs blow up. My shift did not start yet. But I am on my way, and when I hear explosions, I... I must go to see, to find out if my colleagues... There is so much devastation. Alrighty, welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. We are doing this kind of standalone story thing that takes place before uh, we went to Golem City. I actually wanted to try and play this uh, in a chronological order, but I thought that this took place after Golem City. So I was like, yeah, I'll play it after I go to Golem City. And then I read up and I was like, oh, I fucked up. But I wanted to at least get this done at some point in the middle of the story. And I figured, you know what? It's been a couple weeks since I last played Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I might as well tackle these couple of standalone missions since we have this, Desperate Measures. Uh, and then we also have a new one called System Rift, which I'll be doing after this. And then we can get back to the main story where we can go check out the Red Light District, which should be fun. But we're gonna go ahead and I guess talk to this chick. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and sympathize. I know, I was there. Take your time. It is horrible. Everything's so chaotic. When man from Tarvos arrive, it's hard for me to think straight. Tarvos? The private security company? He... He say he is part of investigation and I... I believe him. I give him code to Intellicam server room. I know maybe I should not, but... He seems so like police, I think... He do something to corrupt the data. Wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Why didn't you tell anyone? What did he look like? You've done the right thing coming forward with this. Ah. Uh... I mean, I guess in terms of information, I'd like absolve. Even though I also want to question these things like, well, why and also who? You've done the right thing coming forward with this. But I'd like to get a better sense of the time frame. How long after the explosions did this Tarvos man show up? Men? There were three of them. But only one go into server room. I... I cannot give you exact time. On one side, it feel like hours. On other, only minutes. Emergency people have been there some time, but police not start ordering every people around yet. Did anyone else see these men? No, no one else see. I think. I mean, no, no, I swear, no one else see them. Just me. I, I. It's okay. We're just having a friendly conversation here. And if you're trying to protect someone, I can help. As long as you tell me everything. I... I not protect no one. But I thought... I thought maybe I could help them. Who? <sighs> Tarvos man give me credit chip when I see real police coming and I know he lie about who he is. 
He say it is enough credit to help many victims of bombings. Many of my colleagues. So I take it. You took a bribe? Yes. But my colleagues not want help. They tell me to call Interpol. You will arrest me now? I'm with Interpol, not the police. And I'm hoping you'll remember more if I let you go. Really? You let me go? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Just be sure to call Interpol again if you think of anything else. As for Asian Chang. The one I spoke to before. Yes, I will. Thank you. Thank you. Chang, I spoke to Pavla Kalmanovic. Looks like someone from Tarvos got access to Ruzika's Intellicam servers before the police. Tarvos? Wh what? You think they corrupted it? Why? Uh, why would they do that, Jensen? I mean, I can't just call up Mr. Tarvos and ask, you know? Leave the asking to me. They have a regional office in Prague, right? Yeah, at Terminal Station. You need to take the metro to get there. I'll let you know what I find out. Oh, wait, Jensen. Terminal Station is on lockdown. Reports for why haven't come in yet, but let me work my magic. There. Just gave you access to a train. You should be able to get there with no problem now. Sweet! Am I gonna actually be able to walk around? <laughs> it just cuts me to a loading screen. Uh, I mean, to be fair, it is side DLC. Well, I don't know if it can really be referred to as DLC. I feel like I had it installed the entire time from the get-go. It's just really weird that this wasn't incorporated in the main story itself when it's technically a part of the main story. That's a little bit frustrating, but whatever. I'm going to try not to harp on that too much. Because I am intrigued to see where this goes. We're going to find out why the footage was all fucked up. Hi. How did you get through the lockdown? No trains are supposed to stop here. I'm with Interpol. I need to speak with someone in the Tarvos offices. Well, I'm sorry, but there's a bomb scare going on outside. My lieutenant gave me strict orders not to let anyone through. You'll have to turn around or wait it out. By the way, I have a post to maintain. Okay, I guess I'll wait it Let's out. Let's with the train, Chang, but we got another problem. The lockdown here is due to a bomb scare. I can't get into Tarvos until it's resolved. There is another way. I've been to that office before. They're in the middle of building an access area connected to the station. But if you use it... I'll be breaking into the offices of a security company. Think they'll thank me for identifying flaws in their defenses? <laughs> yeah, probably not. Especially if they're trying to cover up any involvement with Ark. I'll reconnect when I've reached their command center. Jensen out. Sweet, alright. Before we get started, I guess I have to check out some things. Uh, since this is a standalone DLC, anything I level up won't really matter for the main campaign, and so obviously I have to redo all of my augmentations. Since this is... a side DLC, I might actually... Eh, I'll probably still play the same way. It's tempting to, like, go all out nuts and just shoot the shit out of everybody. But the problem with that, and the reason how come I usually end up playing the way I do, is you just miss out on so many opportunities when you do that. When you go guns blazing and kill everybody, you miss conversations, you miss, uh, key moments, you get blamed for a lot of shit, you get bitched at, and it's just like, yeah, or I could just sneak around them, or just knock them all out. So let me very quickly grab some things, we have 12 level ups. Alright, I spent all of my praxis mostly focused on getting my hacking things up, honestly. I, I just really want to be able to hack things still. So I leveled up everything. I actually, I accidentally did this one. I didn't really care for stealth. I just kind of instinctively grabbed it. Or I already had it. I, I, I think, I think I, I'm the one who did that though. Uh, hopefully we'll level up a couple of times over the course of this DLC and maybe I can get a couple of extra things. But this will set me up for a base of being able to get into most systems, which is all I really care for. And I'll just have to try and play smart with everything else, because right now, we don't really have much. We have two shots in my stun, or five shots in my stun gun, and only two different, uh, helpful items, so not in a good spot to be able to just spam my way through things, but we'll be fine. We're gonna go ahead and head backwards, so I'm assuming this is the area that links in here. Now, are my saves separated from my main stuff? Yes, they are. All right. Just checking in. Okay. 
Oh, it's hacking level one. That's cute. I figured it was going to be at least level two or something to kind of goad us into leveling ourselves up. Ooh, hello. I need every little thing I can get. Multi-tools are also pretty, pretty nice to have, I suppose. Okay. The fuck is that sound? Oh, oh, geez, I almost got spotted by those guys. Okay, I'll try my best not to, like, stick over the edge. Still pretending to look busy. Since this lockdown is on our doorstep, it's officially a mission. I'm not sure. You think we should switch to Kazikran just in case they're recording us? Probably better if we just went silent. Cover our asses. Until the LT gives the old It wasn't letting me in, jeez. Alright. So if we're going to be getting in here, I'm going to have to knock some people out when that guy's not staring us right in the face. This is a super talkative train station in comparison to the other train stations. Alright, I need these two guys to be facing away from each other. Or, well, I don't really need to. I could always do other things, like I could just fucking dash across and never bother with them. Because really, at the end of the day, I'm just trying to get by. But, with that said, I don't know, I would like to see if there's anything useful in here. Look at this, we got a weapons briefcase. Ooh! Ah. No ammo for anything I care about. It does look like there's a computer that we can mess with. I'm gonna try punching this guy out. BAM! <laughs> okay. My first knocked out security guard. Now I can actually read up on stuff. Okay. Mr. Harnick, I am I'm extending your hours today to cover Ludic uh, Jankovolsky's shift. There is a death in the family and he will not be in. Your pay will be adjusted to reflect your extended hours and the last minute change. I will need you to cover half of his shift. If it isn't possible to take over the half shift, please contact me by the phone immediately. Well, at least they let him know. And at least they cover for the extra hours. I mean, that's a normal thing to do, but I'm, I'm always appreciative of that kind of thing. Also, why does this even have a battery charge? What the f- it's- This is- I, I mean, I guess this is more like a laptop when, you, when I look at it, but I just feel like they would have real hooked up computers in this area. Oh well. What do we got? Rumor control. To all employees, some of you may have heard about the situation at the terminal station involving the threat of a suspicious package. I ask that you refrain from speaking to anyone in the press or mentioning it on social media at this time. We do not want to spread rumors that could lead to an increased panic from the public. We will issue a statement in the coming hours. In the meantime, members of the Targo Security Services office adjacent to the terminal station will be handling the station's lockdown procedures. So we have a big suspicion. I don't think Tarvos planted the bomb, and that was obviously some of the members of Go uh, of uh, in Golem City. I forgot the name of the the group already, but I'll, I'm sure we'll get plenty of reminders later on. Uh, to all Praha Metro Service personnel and Terminal Station, due to the discovery of a potential threat and in accordance of Security Regulation 1446587, all Praha Metro Service personnel must relinquish all authority to the des designated Tarvo Security Officers. For your own safety, please leave your personal belongings behind and move to the station platform. Notification will be sent to your superiors as the threat level has been cleared and, your lo and the lockdown status on the terminal station has been lifted. Mm. Thank you for understanding and swift reaction in this matter. When protocol is upheld, safety follows. I suppose. If there is anything that I do want to follow up on, maybe I want to knock this guy out. Is there anything by him that I could use? Eh, he has a combat rifle, but I don't really need that. I'm just going to take the painkillers and move on! 
Postupujte prosím podle evakuačních pokynů. Hey, event. Nope, can't punch it. <laughs> Not even if I wanted to. What do we got here? Eh, of course, more hacking. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Access granted. Was I supposed to be able to get like a code? I could check. Code up. Oh, <laughs> it looked like he turned around to face me. Does this guy have a code? He doesn't have a code. Aw, oh, man. Well, let me just hide him back here. That disappoints me. I wasted a little bit of energy. Actually, I really should be mindful of that. I don't have a lot of bio cells. And this lockdown is just another excuse, isn't it? That's what you're complaining about. What about being ordered to guard the lift without the man upstairs authorizing key cards for us to use the bloody thing? Is this a sign of things to expect from the LT? The lift was put in primarily for execs, and last I checked, you ain't one. Besides, LT's not so bad. I'd much rather a decision maker having my back in the thick of it than some soft upper management wanker. Well. I'm going to make sure I have the respect of my men when I make lieutenant one day. <laughs> Is that so? You a lieutenant? Yes, yeah, you'll see. All right then, rookie. You can start climbing that ladder by seeing to your patrol. Come on then. No, don't come on then. I wanted you to split up so I could knock you out. Take your items, maybe. Okay. They're kind of heading off to what looked like a reception desk area. So I'm just gonna go ahead under the assumption that I should just stick to back here. We're gonna make an actual save as I split off down the path. Anomaly detected. Give me the data store! Initiated. Access granted. With a super short DLC like this, I especially need every single thing I can get. This looks fun. Uh, I mean, I could always just hop over everything? Ooh, but not that one. You know what, let's just turn them off. Anomaly detected. Trace program now why is this spam here? Is there- is it linked to anything? No. It's just pointless. It's like, hey, get yourself captured. Granted. And off. Every single one. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, effort. If I triggered one, I'd get blasted. Oh, no. There's stuff in there. I don't have the ability to punch things yet. Okay. I'm so used to having that, I didn't realize I needed to get it. Oops. I'm sure there wasn't super- anything super amazing in there, at least. Aw, oh, shit, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, I'm so gimped! Wait, wait, wait! Hold up! This links off to things, so maybe I can deploy a ladder or something. I'm gonna follow the red la- the red- not laser, but red electric wire. Aha! Thank you for being thoughtful, devs. I don't need to have every single little ability. Just a good number of them. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Oh, didn't mean to drink the alcohol, but whatever. What do we got? Mr. Weir, this is a reminder of our break policy. First, I would like to clear up a misconception many employees have. Each time office is abides by the laws and work regulation of the country they are located in. 
As per Czech Republic federal laws, we are not mandated to give breaks to our employees, paid or unpaid. Due to the high risk nature of our line of work and the focus needed at all times, Tarvo Security Services Upper Management in Prague has ruled that all rest breaks, aka coffee breaks, or coffee breaks, smoke breaks, personal communication breaks are paid. This policy comes with a good faith agreement that all breaks will not exceed a maximum of 20 minutes in length. Any employee found to abuse this policy will suffer uh, penalties and fines. It is a system that has proven to work at other Tarvo security offices around the globe. We hope that you will take off efforts in the future to manage your work hours more closely. We understand that all Tarvos employees are human. We have physiological and psychological limitations. Even machines in a break. Without a, a break, they would surely end up damaged. With humans, most damages are irreversible. Many thanks. Okay. I was expecting that to like start really reprimanding people. Okay, let me just grab this multi-tool that I'm probably never going to use. Where the fuck did that guy go? Oh shit! They should. Suit's balance was completely reconfigured and they tweaked the hand controls. Have a go around, won't you? Let's test mobility next. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think this was- uh, I wonder if this was supposed to take place before we ever encountered the exosuits? Because that feels like more of an introduction to them than the way we encountered our first one. The first one was just like there. And I sat there going, oh shit, that looks dangerous. But here, we stumble across them as they're testing it out themselves. Which gives us more of a moment to like evaluate things. And just go completely around them. I mean, we can go completely around the first one too, but still. I like the implications. Ah, oh, shit. I want to get in this room, but I don't want to do. There we go. Attract this guy's attention. Peekaboo! Ooh, God! Imagine just chilling out and then all of a sudden you turn around or you get yanked around and get decked in the neck. Goddamn augments! Oh, he's neck punching everybody. This is why they can't be trusted. Oh, God. Hey, Melvin! The inventory list from last week was lost somehow. I saw that you submitted it at the end of the day, and I planned on reading it when I got into work. But when I got in, I couldn't find it. I even reverted to the save file, and I couldn't find it. Can you please do another stock report for the equipment and storage and send it to me ASAP? I need it for my report. Thanks so much, Howard Knight. Oh god, do not reply all! <laughs> Hi everyone, please stop hitting reply all. You are, rep uh, you are potentially spreading a virus. Make sure it has been scanned for viruses. When you hit reply, you will send a return message only to the person who sent the message to you. This means one person will get it. When you hit reply all, you will send a return message to everyone in the company who received the email. This, mean, this means that if anyone is in the 2CC and or BCC lines or fields of the message, they will get it. Please keep this in mind the next time you reply to an email. Alan Fraser it would be an interesting life to, like, be a person who doesn't understand, hey, by the way, maybe don't reply to every single person in an email across an entire company. Just reply, oh, oh whoops, I sent a me an email to a hundred people by accident. To so all employees who are being evacuated, please save your files and shut down your computer before you leave the offices. Doing so will increase the security and integrity of our computer systems. For certain computers, a shutdown will be forced. Further information, this issue is a high priority because the vulnerability can be exploited simply by visiting the malicious website, after which any skilled hacker could obtain full control of your computer. This email is set to delete itself in one day. Well, at least they have this. Poor Alan Fraser. Uh, Mr. Harrison, we are saddened to confirm that the last week's attack at the Bank of Vancouver in Vancouver, Canada, claimed the lives of three Tarvos guards. The attacks were carried out by three unidentified, augmented individuals who may or may not be connected with NSF. Two civilians were also killed. Our thoughts and prayers are with them and their families as they mourn their loss. You are, you are receiving this notification because you have worked with the following casualties. Shane Bender and Marie Marianne Fernando. Oh boy. 
If you would like to unsubscribe to any notifications on coworkers, reply to this email with the word unsubscribe in the bottom of the email. Yeah, I would hit unsubscribe. That'd be depressing. Working for, like, say what you work for, like, a police company. And then, like, 20 years down the line, you start getting notifications about all of their deaths. And, of course, you know, as a friend and a fellow colleague, you like to keep up on them and make sure that they're doing all right. But this sounds like a good way to get depressed constantly. Hello? Hello? We got a room with extra parts. Nice. Is that it? Is that all this room is for? I'm gonna open this door. Oh wow. I could have probably hacked the door from the outside. Is there anything useful on the main floor? It doesn't really look like it. Okay, then we move on! We saw some things down there, but I'm sure we're just gonna loop back. That's on a lower floor. Although if it turns out to be linked to this floor, I'll be really disappointed. Okay. Um... Hmm, I'm not appreciating that. Is there a side vent I could use? Uh, it's not so good. Might have something. Leaving uh... post. <laughs> that was an accident. That was actually a real big accident. Oh shit. I clicked. <laughs> I was gonna aim and then shoot him, but my mind just kind of got it mixed up. I shot without aiming. Come with me, Mr. Tarvo security guard. I'm gonna go ahead and hide you, hopefully in a place where nobody can see you. Just assuming patrol patterns. No one should be able to see this guy. Oh, hey. Pistol. Now, what do we got going on in here? To all employees, please join me in welcoming two new employees. Kevin Carter and Ronald Gooden. <laughs> the Q&As. Where were you employed before you took this job? City University, London, in Slate Pub in London. When you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? A pilot like my mum. What super power do you wish you had? I want to fly. Favorite word? Buckingham. I like this one, guys. Hold up. Favorite word? Cake. My <laughs> be bulletproof. I would like to be bulletproof and have cake, but I would also like to fly. I just want every super power if I could, you know, whatever. Hey, Seb, tell your boys not to go crazy with the new suits. The men over in Moscow tested the latest model last week and almost blew up their office. You're to test the suit's mobility and responsiveness, but not their weapon systems. <laughs> All right. And then we already read the lockdown curious thing. So we need to make it to the door. Actually, it's just a hallway. Oh. That's not so bad, then. I thought there was a doorway just, like, straight here, and that would have been troublesome. But the level designer is kind. 